My name is Dr. Peter Stelling. I'm a German orthopedic surgeon. And I want to tell you something about a very new kind of technology of pain treatment that uh, calls cryophos. The cryophos is a special treatment with a neuroreflex uh, stimulation. That means we cool down the skin in about 30 seconds to 2 to 4 degrees and that makes the neuroreflexy answer and uh, makes the vessels wide in the deep. So we get rid of the inflama inflammation mud like prostaglandin, histamine and serotonin. We have a cryophos combines the effects of the cold pressure by using the hyperbaric uh, CO2 gas. That means we are using the body's own resources uh, to combat the pain. The skin temperature is lowering between 2 to 4 degrees. This abrupt temperature change generates a neuroreflexive response in the body. It generates an innovative and successful treatment in comparison with the known cold air treatments or ice treatments. Here we offer two kinds of models of cryophos. That means we have the office model and the cryophos mobile model. The office model is for hospitals or uh, uh, practice and the other one is for uh, sporting fields, um, just football or other kind of sports. The comparison of the existing types of cooling, we have here different parts. So we have the old common ice use from, zero, uh, from 32 to 0 degree. We have the low temperature of the sprays, you know from also from sports. And we have the very low temperature with 78 degrees minus uh, used in the cryophos. That means in a neuroreflective uh, stimulation. So in this part, we have only the ice. And the ice means I never will get the neuroreflective uh, situation. So I want to cool it fast down to 2 to 4 degrees. Even if I have this low temperature with this cooling spray, I have, for example, 30 or 32 degrees minus, but I never will reach with the spray, I will never will reach this uh, kind of thermoshock, which is necessary to get the NRS. In the neuroreflex uh, therapy, we have the 78 degrees minus, and that means we have a, a very fast cooling down the skin, a thermoshock, which is uh, causing then an NRS, that means a neuroreflex stimulation to open the deep vessels and to transport all the inflammatory mud away. Inflammatory mud like um, uh, prostaglandin, histamine, serotonin, which makes the inflammation and keeps all the, the edemas on. So if I get rid of this, I have the result of my therapy. Here we have the most important uh, comparison curve uh, against ice, thera ice therapy versus NRS uh, therapy with cryophos. That's very important to understand what happens here. So we have the ice curve here. You see, we get at least at 25 minutes the lowest temperature of the skin. That means about 10 to 12 degrees. But that's not enough to get a thermoshock. And that's why we use or need something. We can reach this thermoshock. And this thermoshock we can get if we take the CO2 gas. Um, the CO2 gas cools down the skin in about 30 seconds to 2 to 4 degrees and uh, recover again after 5 minutes. With the ice, you need at least one, min uh, one hour uh, to get the normal temperature again. So I have a great risk that I get a cell damage here. Here with the cooling down between 30 and second, uh, 60 seconds, I have the neuroreflex stimulation and then I have a recovering very fast and I never get the uh, cell damages. I want to introduce you the CO2 gas, the medical CO2 gas, uh, with minus 78 degrees. And the specification is colorless, it's odorless, it's non-flammable, which is very important. It's poor, 
it's dry and it's bacteriostatic also and that's very important also to re uh, reduce the infect risk. The technical application is also very important to do it in the right way otherwise I don't have a result of this. So we have a 78 degrees minus if I point it to one point then I have the risk of a necrosis. Therefore, I have always uh, moving the pistol that we have a very good uh, a cooling down of an area. But anyhow, if there is a point holding on the skin, we have a unique safe system which inhibits the burnings because uh, the system is shut, uh, shuts down in about one second with minus one degrees of the skin surface. The sensitive receptors of the skin is the key where we get the result of. Why? We have uh, three layers of the skin and in these three layers we have the uh, receptors of cool, of heat, uh, of vibration and so on. So in one square centimeter of skin we have 200 pain receptors we have two heat receptors, but we have 13 cold receptors. That means we have a much better reaction if we have a cooling down the skin um, uh, instead of heating the skin. So the effect is much better also in relaxing the muscle which is down. So with the cryophos therapy, with the neuroreflex therapy, stimulation, we have a specialty, we have two afferences to the brain. The two afferences is one side, the pain and temperature over the lateral spinothalamicus tractus, and the other one is the touch, pressure and the vibration, it's going to the ventral spinothalamicus tractus. So we have a potentiation of, uh, through these conditions, we are the both tracks, and nothing can reach this except the neuroreflective uh, stimulation via cryophos. So we have a very broad range of physiological effects. We have once the analgetic effect through the inhibition of the nociceptors, we have the anti-inflammatory effect through immediately uh, suppression of enzymes, we have a vasomotoric effect through deep vasodilatation within the 20 to 30 seconds and we have a neurological effect through muscle relaxation as a result of myostatic reflex in the medulla. We have a, a broad indication base, so we have the trauma, the surgery, hand surgery, sports medicine, we have the physiotherapy, the rehab uh, care and treatments, the emergency medicine, rheumatology, neurology and the implantology with dentistries uh, for implantation of tooth or like this. Of course, you don't treat it inside the mouth, but you treat it outside the mouth. So we have special indications for some um, kinds, acute sports injur injuries, bruising, hematomas, strained or torn muscles and rheumatism, epicondylitis radialis and ulnaris, it's heel spur, arthrosis of the knee, upper ankle joint and vertebral joint, as well as the lumbar isiatico, um, chronic back pain, Sudex syndrome, stage 1 and 2, post-surgery treatments and any more. Here we have some samples for the indications. So we are treating, for example, the epicondylitis uh, radialis. Here we are treating at that point where you have the pain and the belonging ways of the lymphatic system. So I uh, straighten the arm and then I make the therapy also here to um, induce the lymphatic drainage. Indications are more uh, lumbago and lumbar sciatica. It's a treatment along the muscles on the back here and the both sides and um, so that's it. 
more indications is uh, cervical syndrome, trapezius myrgulose, cephalgy. So I make the treatment here along the basic of the hair beginning, then along the muscle here, and along here the muscle trapezius um, to relax the muscle. And this should be also treated on the both sides that I prevent um, muscular disbalance. After radius fractures, or Sudex syndromes up to a second degree. We treat also the fingers. We have a very good lymphatic system on the fingers. So we have to treat each finger itself and uh, the thumb and the way where the lymphatic system is. So I prevent the bad healing. Next. In the hand surgery, for example, the Dupitra, on the 12th day after surgery, you see the sutures are still in place. Sutures will be removed after cryophos therapy. Total number of treatments is four, and you see after these four treatments, after the 12th day, you can move uh, the uh, fingers like this. That's very seldom that you can this. So that was the injury of the ligament uh, at the ankle after a sports injury. So the next day when he came, you see here the hematoma. He was treated with the uh, cryophos um, that makes the neuroreflexive uh, reaction. And then it uh, disappeared very fast. Here it's after five days. You only see a small shadow here, uh, the rest of the hematome, and that's it. Um, uh, after five days, you have this healing. Here you see a, a elderly lady. She was falling on the on the face. Of course, she had everywhere hematomes and a pleasure uh, and, a, and a failure here. So. Of course, we have to exclude that there is a breaking of the head uh, that we do, did. And then we uh, begin with the treatment the first day, zero, uh, day zero, day first, day three, day five. So you see the immense reduction of the hematomas. Also here, it's gone. Here on the third day, nearly everything is gone. And here we only have a small shadow more here at these parts uh, of the face. Here in the sports medicine, we have also a very uh, well-known uh, patient. She is the world championship in boxing. Um, I know her since she was five years old and she always came to me and uh, I was accompanying her after the boxing fights and make the treatment. So in uh, Germany, we have a very known um, um, newspaper that calls the Bild. And she is telling on the Bild, uh, this ice pistol is my uh, beauty secret. And so she was happy. I treated her after the fight. The next day, that was mostly, that was um, uh, Sunday morning. And then she could uh, go to the TV at Sunday evening and had a very nice face. That was a colleague of uh, this Regina Halmich. She also had a fight. You see the great hematoma. And at the end of the fight, uh, she was treated the first time. And immediately after the, f uh, the fight, the, you see the reduction of this hematoma. Of course, the scarification on the nose I cannot heal, but I can reduce all the swelling and I can reduce the hematomas, as you see, after the second treatment the next day in the morning. Now it's uh, important to say something about the contraindications. Contraindications is, of course, the diabetic gangrene. And why the diabetic gangrene? Uh, in a diabetic situation, you have a paralysis uh, of the vessels and the, um, the paralysis of the vessel is not able to react with a neuroreflexive uh, stimulation. That's why it's not allowed to do this when you have a diabetic gangrene. But if there is somebody who has a diabetic type, type 2, you can uh, treat him on the back or on, on the shoulders or on the arm. That's no problem, but not on this gangrene area. 
The Reno disease, you know, these are the fingers when they get white, if it's very cold outside, then it's forbidden to treat the fingers or even the, the toes or, or the, uh, on the foot. But if they have the problem on the back or uh, that's like on the diabetic gangrene, you can treat it. The cryoglobulinemia, it's no problem. It's a very seldom kind of allerg allergic reaction to the cold. Um, I saw it once in my life with 35 years uh, of experience and uh, you can forget this. But one thing is also very important. No treatments on the mucosa membrane, such as the mouth, the nose, eyes, anal, vaginal, and not, of course, in open wounds. The light cannot be applied to the open eyes. That cannot happen something, but I don't want to have it in the eyes directly because it makes it uh, too light. The advantages of the medical praxis of cryophos and the NRS um, therapy, we have it in the naturopractic therapy, we have it easy to use, it's broad indication base. We have extremely high patient satisfactions level with numerous referrals and recommendations all over the world, offering cutting edge uh, technology to your patients and 100% safe to use due to the advanced and the tested specifications. Thank you for listening and watching my presentation about the Cryophos device and uh, hopefully uh, it can help you and your patients uh, to do it in the same way for the future and I thank you so much.